and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'm going to be riding the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser Step Over version, as you see it right there. And I want to talk today about class levels of e-bike and specifically labeling on the bike as it's required by U.S. law that they put the label, uh, visible label on the bike regarding the class level. And I'm going to show you where it is on the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser. And come down to show you a close-up. It's right there. It says One Up Class 3 established 2018. So let's hop on the bike and talk a little bit about labeling of class levels on e-bikes. It's a really interesting topic. So let's talk a little bit about that. So this bike, as you saw, is labeled a class three, which is what it is. And the wattage is a little bit uh, different depending on the state. Same with the class level. Like in Oregon, you're allowed to have a 1,000 watt motor. And some other states, a lot of them, it's 750. And in Canada, it's 500 watts. So, so for I wanted to talk a little bit about this bike in particular though, being a class three. And let's say you bought this bike though, in a state that only has maximum uh, class two what happens then uh, how does that work can they still buy the bike in that state i don't know what's an example of a state but whatever state there's a lot of them still that are class two there's also a lot that have switched to class three but let's say you're living in a class two state and if we're worried about legalities and uh, having to get them exactly right as some viewers, you know, uh, some viewers really watch everything and uh, if they see anything that's beyond the law and they want to, uh, um, you know, let me know about it. So I was just wondering about that. So if you're living in a state that only has a class two level can you buy this bike because it clearly says right on the uh, label as you saw there class three so is it up to you in that case or the company that you're buying the bike from and when you get it shipped to your state wherever you're at um, do they uh, step in and say, uh, excuse me, sir or ma'am, uh, we can't sell you this bike because you're not in the legal state to purchase that bike. I don't know, but uh, you tell me if you know anything about that. Um, Oregon here is a class three now. It never used to be until recently. And what if your bike uh, covers the class two and class three, but then goes beyond, but they still have a sticker on there that says class two, for example, like I'll give a good example. my. I have an aerial rider Grizzly and right on the bike below the seat there there's a sticker that says class 2 and that bike is shipped to you as a class 2 but you unlock it I suppose it's your own doing if you unlock it but the bike is capable of well beyond the class 2 so I guess they leave it into the discretion of whether you unlock it and take it beyond. 
I don't know of anybody that's going to buy that bike and not go beyond class two with it. If you were uh, just going to ride it as class two, then why in the world would you spend now the bike is regular price is $34.99. It is on sale right now for $30.99. But why would you buy a $3,100 bike if you can only go 20 miles an hour? It will help you up the hills, which is a good thing. But I think most people that are buying that bike are buying it to go a little bit more than 20 miles an hour. And that bike is capable of doing uh, 30 plus. Now I've said this before and I'll say it again and again and again, but the, I'd like to uh, get rid of the class levels and just have a speed limit. And then even though your bike maybe goes faster than the speed limit or the limit that they set, then that's up to you if you ride beyond that. But uh, just because the bike is capable of going beyond, you shouldn't be punished because the bike can do that. It doesn't mean you're doing that. Like a car is capable of going well beyond uh, 55 miles per hour on a highway. And yet, you know, you just drive it to 55 miles per hour. If you're going above that, then you're taking the chance that you're not going to get a speeding ticket so I think uh, they should do the same with the bike and then it's up to you to uh, to obey the uh, speed limits and if you don't well then they have reason to uh, come after you I suppose anyway uh, And I suppose also if you take that label off of the bike, then that's you taking it off. So the bike, when it's purchased and sent to you, has that label, then you're uh, taking that off. That's, that's a no-no. And what about all the folks too that uh, modify their bikes? Like they'll buy a 48 volt or 52 volt, modify it, uh, put a, a bigger uh, controller motor and uh, more wattage, or uh, not wattage, but voltage. And right away it loses its class level because you've modified it to uh, something beyond. Anyway, like I said, I'm not, I'm not big on the class levels myself, but... Uh, that's the way it is right now. I'd like to see it change to a speed limit, make it simpler for everybody to understand. But it is what it is right now, and we just got to deal with that. So uh, if you want to comment on the video and have anything to say about class levels and, and putting the labels on the bike to reflect the level that it is or it's sold to be, then go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel and help support us, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.